Hello guys, it's Taz and Ian again with another YouTube video. This video will be going over what I would wear for a zombie outbreak, zombie apocalypse scenario. As you see, I seem to be wearing most of the same stuff I always do, and that is correct. But I have some additions, such as this winter jacket. It adds extra protection from zombies and the cold compared to my usual just rip stop jacket. Because this one provides a little few extra layer as there is a outer layer which is a little watery felon which will help with blood and a source like that. And then the fabric layer or warmth layer on it, the inside of it. You may like, huh, you look a little fat. I'm, I don't know how I feel about that comment you guys. That's because I still have my Alice gear on me. Oh, that's stupid. Why would you wear webbing? That's the same reason I'm wearing this jacket. Because they can't grab the back of the Alice gear and pull me back into the horde. I could still grab the jacket. But I can ditch the jacket and be screwed without the Alice gear, though. I also have on here my basket vest. Because just because zombies can't use guns doesn't mean people won't. Also, never thought about this. Zombies may bite the arms and limbs. Okay, arms are also limbs, but you get the point. But they still can bite your torso. And the basket vest provides some good protection to your torso from not just bullets, but also human teeth and fingernails, because unlike wolves, most human teeth are extremely dull. So, they're not going to be able to bite through it, or even scratch through it. They go, well, so you got a winter jacket, but what about your pants? Yeah, I might let, not wearing winter pants, because, well, I don't have any of that. I am still wearing my ripstop fatigue bottoms, or, many of you, trousers. I also added thick blue jeans to it because most people don't think about this, including the movie alone. With seven layers of clothes apparently still could have gotten infected to the guy biting him. Just because it leads to indentation doesn't mean you're infected. If no liquid got through and it just left an indentation, you're not infected. That's the same idea with this. Because this it's nothing like the dog bite suits. It's not like riot gear. It's providing their infectious teeth from biting my arms. Still may bleed, but at least I'm not a zombie. I also have on my hand gloves. These aren't my standard tactical ones, not exactly bendy bendy. I also got a pair of Light winter gloves are thin and they fit in here, so it's still, like I said, a little extra layer. I also got on me, set my jungle boots, I got interceptor boots, which are similar to most of the military boots they use. I, got, I chose them because they're a lot thicker, they got some better insulation on them, and the heel is, a lot, heel is also thicker compared to the jungle boots, which are a very thin heel. And I doubt they still have the metal plate in them, so that's a plus. I also have on me some goggles. Right. Additional eye protection with the right visor. Because if they can't bite your face, that's a plus. And also, I don't exactly think you want blood flying to your face and getting your eyes and mouth. That's why I'm wearing a mask, plus right visor, plus goggles. I also wear my Pascot helmet. Because, well, it's obvious. You got some better protection on that one. Slope compared to an M1 or even M56, which is most likely more similar to. But that's okay. Even the pros and cons of the Pascot. Still a lot better protection than M1. That's all for today, guys. 
If you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe.